finding angles within circles and finding the angles of arcs around them is actually a very closely tied together concept, but it's used together in a special way. In this problem, we're going to find the minor arc RQ, which is right here, so we're going to find what degrees that is. I'm also going to be finding the angle RQP in this problem, which is right here. Now, what you're going to have to notice is this rule only works on angles that are touching some part of the circle and the beginning and the end of the minor arc. So if this scenario happens, what you do is you look at that angle that's touching the circle and you double it. Therefore, the minor arc RQ is 100 degrees. Now, if you are to find the angle and you already know the arc like we do over here, what happens is this is the beginning of the arc, this is the end of the arc, this is the point on the circle that is created from those other two points, therefore you just cut it in half. So you can see how these are really closely related. There you go, half and double, half and double. Beautiful stuff, easy to do. All you have to do is pay attention to what's happening and that this is an angle that touches the circle from a created arc.